Does it blend? Um... Hey artists, welcome back. It's good to see you again. So let's just get right to it. I was sent some pencils in a drawing set from a particular company to review. Now, I'm always going to give you an honest review as far as what's being sent to me. I would never put you on to anything that I didn't believe in first. This is kind of a private label situation, which if you're not familiar with what private labeling is, basically what you will see is that a lot of pencil sets on Amazon look exactly the same as this or very similar to this. And that does not necessarily mean that this takes away from this review. It doesn't mean that it's necessarily anything bad in particular. That's how things work. If you were to go to Target or Walmart, their particular brand is private label. This set that was sent to me has something in particular that is different amongst some of the other sets, and it's this little guy. So if you're familiar with what these are, these are beauty sponges, beauty blenders per se. Uh, not the original beauty blender, but it's included. And I thought to myself, okay, is this used to blend? Is it used to lift color or graphite? What is, what is this used for? Anyone that's into doing their makeup these days knows what this is. It's, it's to blend concealer and powder and foundation. So I thought to myself, okay, are we supposed to blend the graphite with this or the charcoal or what exactly is going on here? Do we lift the color? So I actually did an experiment on both graphite and charcoal and you'll see that here in just a moment. So let's go ahead and get to it and I will be right back so you can see all of this footage that I took while I discovered how to use these. I'll see you later. So I clean this off with some charcoal soap and it gets a little bit larger as the water kind of soaks up the sponge and if you are unfamiliar with beauty sponges. So I just basically have this damp. Okay, so we have the top three that are blended already and I'm gonna use the blender to try and lift the color. I'm gonna go dampen it real quick first, and then the lower halves are going to be blended with the blender, at least we're going to attempt to. Okay, let's start with um, the 2H right here on top. I'm gonna to try and lift this color. So I have two angles so that you can see. Okay, see that works so much better on mixed media paper. And I bet you this would work even better with water soluble graphite and the harder you kind of press in you can kind of use the tip for precision sorry if the camera's shaky um, then the more you'll pick up I don't know let's see it doesn't seem like it's a very steady way of picking things up but that could be to your advantage depending on what kind of effect you're wanting to okay so I'm going to go ahead and blend this and then I'm going to stop and I'm going to clean this between each column I'm going to go rinse it and um, start fresh. Does it blend? Um, if you can see this. I'm not using very heavy pressure. Just sort of dabbing it. Um, maybe not so much the 2H. Maybe it's better with softer, the softer grades. We'll see. Hmm. Let's move on to the 2B and 8B before I make an informed decision. Okay, 2B. Let's see if we can pick up some color. Well, not really, but it blends it. I mean, it kind of picks up the color. But it more or less blends it. But it's already been blended. Frankly, I think it'd be better to use a kneaded eraser. Ew, there's a hair. Ew. Gross. See, a kneaded eraser does so much better. Hmm. Well, let's see 
if it blends. Oh, yes. See, I thought maybe the softer green might work a little bit better. If you had large areas and you needed to blend it fast, you could just dampen this thing and go for it if you wanted to. And if you kept a cup of water next to you, you could just dip it back in and then squeeze it out and keep it damp that way. One more time, going to rinse this out with a charcoal soap and I'll be right back. Okay, let's do an 8B. Let's see if we can lift some color here. Nope, more or less blends it. <laughs> Yeah, compared to a kneaded eraser, it's gonna pick up much more. So you can blend it, but this one's already been blended. So let's see if it blends the lower half here that hasn't been blended. Oh yes. Yep. And what's good about this is that it won't, you know, it, the blending stems work just fine. And, you know, it's up to you as to whether or not you want to blend with something like this or use some very hard bristled brushes or a kneaded eraser to kind of blend in, uh, you know, or blending steps. It doesn't really matter. Um, it's just, I feel like maybe this would be a little bit more practical in, in terms of hand fatigue, maybe. It definitely would be easier on larger areas. Now, precision wise, I don't think it's very practical at all, but you know. So pros and cons. You just kind of know how you have to know how to work it in certain areas to meet your needs. Don't you think I'm done yet because I am going to bring charcoal into the mix and see what we can do with that on mixed media paper. Okay, so one last round of experiments. So here on the left side, we have everything laid out here in little blocks. We got HB and then we've got, um, this is the hard charcoal, the soft charcoal, and then we have the ebony graphite. And um, you know, it says it's jet black extra smooth, but it doesn't look that smooth or jet black to me. It's a lie. We're going to try and lift everything with this side, and then I'm going to be blending or attempting to blend on the left side. So we'll start with HB. Okay. Well, lift some of it, but not all of it. It's actually doing all right. It seems like it might be do, doing better with the charcoal. Yeah. I would definitely not be using charcoal paper or drawing paper. I would definitely stick with the mixed media or a paper that is formulated for water. Blend the HB. Oh, nice. Maybe that's what this was intended for. Maybe it was intended for charcoal all along. Huh, there we go. Look at that blend. <laughs> Wow, very nice. Well, the wetter that you get it, the lighter of a blend you'll have. It seems like the, the drier the sponge, the darker the blend will be, if that makes any sense. It won't, uh, push, the, it won't push the charcoal around quite as much. All right, so I'm gonna go clean this baby off, hopefully. Yeah, you definitely get a lot more product with the charcoal, obviously. You obviously don't have to use this one particular side. Um, you can use the sides, you can use the back. So we'll just uh, experiment around. So I am going to take a clean edge and try and lift this. Nope. Well, it might lift it a little bit if you press. Yeah, but not like, it's definitely not going to get it um, the way other erasers would. So, okay, just going to can dab. Again, this is the 4B. This is the soft. And I use a block. Nice. If you're looking for black, there it is. Hmm. That's amazing. Never thought about that. Okay, so... <laughs> 
<laughs> Look at that. Okay, so I'm going to try and lift this ebony. It's all right. It's doing all right. Not too much. Then again, I really I'm not very impressed with this pencil. If it's my understanding, I thought it was a lot more pigmented and a lot darker. But you could certainly blend with it. Kind of has some residual lines there. But you can always go back over it and blend it more. So, there you have it. We have the charcoal, we have the ebony graphite, we have our graphite experiments from earlier. And it looks like it does so much better with the charcoal than it does the graphite. I'm going to take a moment just to show you what exactly comes in this set. It's a nice thorough set, I will say that, and it's very, very affordable. So if you're a beginning artist or if you are a student that just can't afford like Caran d'Ache or Faber-Castell, totally accessible and it's nice and travel friendly. I'm going to show it to you right here. So <laughs> you get 12 grades of graphite pencil. I don't have them all with me. They're upstairs. You get not one, but two sharpeners, one plastic and one dual metal. And you get three particular shades of charcoal sticks. Now, I lost one. I think it's somewhere in my boyfriend's couch <laughs> because that's how I roll. And uh, I lose things very quickly. And so we have this dual extender right here. So you can put, you know, a short little pencil on each end if you run out. You've got three grades of blending stumps. You've got a, an eraser, just kind of a general eraser. You get a kneaded eraser. Oops, it's backwards on the monitor. That's right. So you get a needed eraser right here. You have three sticks of graphite and three sticks of charcoal, and you also have this little sandpaper block. I found out while um, I was filming earlier that you can zip it up like this. A little loop here, so you can take it out with you, like this, like so. And you can just smash the sponge in there if you wish to take it with you. I think, it, if I had to say which one is the best to blend with, I would say the charcoal. Like, as, as we can see here, uh, it did do really, really well with the dark charcoal and even the lighter charcoal, the HB. So I feel like it would do better with charcoal than graphite. I really don't know. You know, I mean, I think if you can use anything to manipulate it to how you want it to be, you can use several different things to blend pencil with. As far as lifting color goes, I don't think it really lifted a lot, but there we go, that's much more full. If you enjoyed the video, found it entertaining or informative and beneficial to your artistic journey, please hit that like button. So if you want to subscribe to the channel, I would love to connect with you. Please leave a comment on what more kind of experimentations you would like to see, if you have any ideas. Thank you for being you, artists. Keep creating. So that works. Okay. Hello, focus. Just zhuzh it around. Zhuzh. Zhuzh. Zhuzh the gloss around. Ugh. Between each bar. Or each. <laughs> each bar. Goodness. Uh, using words, Jane. 